Snow falls. Caltrans crews are preparing for the possible whiteout conditions that this winter storm could bring with it tomorrow. And people living in snow country are buying extra food and candles in case they do get snowed in. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Donner Summit with more on the snow and freezing temps in the Sierra tonight. Steve? Take a look, guys. It's really starting to come down here at the top of the 10 o'clock hour, and in some cases coming in almost sideways because of the winds associated with this snowstorm. This is one of the areas expected to get a brunt of this snowstorm. Forecasts of six and a half feet of snow uh, through the next couple of days, and people here are welcoming it, and they're also bracing for it. A dusting of snowflakes accompanied by frigid temperatures and gusty winds were the first signs of this massive snowstorm arriving over the high country. Those choosing to travel on Interstate 80 urged caution. It's, you don't know if you're driving on uh, uh, black ice or not. Caltrans warning signs are up along the roadway. The agency put dozens of snow plows on standby. They've doubled staffing the next few days, bracing for this treacherous forecast. Blizzard warnings go into effect Thursday morning, creating possible whiteout conditions. If the conditions worsen to the point where we have blizzard whiteout conditions, we'll pull our employees off and we'll assess the situation. Barney Whitmire lives in Kingvale, still wearing flip flops ahead of the snowstorm. He did stock up on groceries, lit his fireplace, and bought candles in case of power outages. That's the one thing that really gets me. I don't have a generator. Wish I did. The first big winter blast coming the first day of March. Tomorrow's March 1st. We're finally getting snow. A March miracle or March madness? This late snowstorm is forecast to pack a powerful punch. And a live look from Donner Summit where the snowfall really coming down for the first time. We've been up here on the high uh, altitude all day long, and I have to say that it's really just started to pick up here in the last half an hour. Uh, much, much heavier snowfall, though, anticipated in the overnight hours. Got to love Barney's flip-flops, but I don't recommend it for you, Steve. Thanks. Stay warm up there as you continue to cover this for us. And late tonight, an impact already being felt because of this snowstorm. All Plumas Unified Schools will be closed tomorrow. School officials say the snow day will be made up on Friday, May 25th.